It's currently the beginning of 2023, and although it's a new year, I'm still trying to digest what just happened in 2022. I did a lot in 2022, and I'd probably consider it the best year of my life. I went through a lot of changes as well, though there's probably a question that's probably on your mind right now. What happened? Where did I go and why did I quit without any trace? Well, I hope to explain that in this video as well as going through everything that led up to this. I'm Plushy Free Free and welcome to my coming of age story. Let's go back all the way to November of 2021. This was a pretty hard time for me as I was just diagnosed with depression. I wasn't really too shocked because it was likely I was going to get it at some point, but while learning about my diagnosis, I decided to think about what made me happy and what I wanted to do. And the answer that came to my mind was YouTube. I wanted to be a YouTuber. It's my passion, my main hobby, and something I hope to be my job one day. So in December of 2021, I posted my first video back on YouTube, that being a cape video. I'd realized that most of my subscribers were Bedrock and wanted to see Bedrock. Rock. This video has done pretty well, and I knew if I kept pushing and making videos, I'd be able to reach all my goals. On January 8th, 2022, I'd make the first video specifically talking about the Hive. That being how to get every rank on the Hive video. This video did pretty good, and I explicitly stated in the video that I was aiming for YouTube rank. I mean, having YouTube rank on a server that was as good as the Hive is definitely a goal I had in mind, and little did I know that would become a reality very, very soon. January 23rd, 2022, I was on a call with two of my friends, Noah and CJ, and I was explaining how I was working on a video that I was quite proud of, and I hoped it would do pretty well. This video was the all secrets on the Hive Bedrock video, and when I released it, it actually surprisingly was doing well. I'd be DMing my friend Noah about how the views were going up every single time I refreshed. I was extremely happy, and me and Noah would be geeking out about the video's performance on Discord, DMing until the late hours of the night. The video would continue to do even better, and some Hive YouTubers would start to DM me and talk to me saying how pretty much the video pretty much popped up in everyone's recommendations. So I kept making videos, and on February 12th, 2022, I would achieve YouTube rank. YouTube rank was a goal of mine for years at this point, and finally having it was a dream come true. More importantly, people were watching my videos, subscribing and commenting, and it was awesome that people could watch my videos, enjoy them, get entertainment and information out of them, because that's what truly matters. It also helped that my friend group in real life was starting to get better. This friend group would be the first group that actually somewhat understood what I did, and I would Say actively supports me and are some of my biggest supporters honestly. I genuinely think that if this year didn't have these guys in my life, I don't think I'd be in the same place I am in right now and 2022 wouldn't have been as good without them. I'd keep making videos and things are going pretty well and in June I would embark on a trip that would change my life forever. So my online friend group had planned for a while for us to meet up for the first time. The plan was to spend time at VidCon to experience it for the first time and go to Disneyland as our friend group are pretty big Disney fans. And to say I was excited for this trip would be an understatement. I was so excited and happy to meet all the people I've been talking to for years at this point. So not knowing what to expect, I would fly over to California for the first time ever. <laughs> This trip was pretty surreal. Seeing all these people I would met online was awesome, and meeting other creators I would watched or talked to was also really surreal. Going to Disneyland for the first time was also one of the most fun times I've ever had in my life. Seriously, go to Disney with a bunch of your friends, it's completely different than going with your family, I promise. And in July, my MCC recreation Bedrock Championships would come back. BCC is one of the greatest things that has ever happened to me, and it is one of my greatest support systems. I am so thankful for every single person in it, and they've helped me throughout many things. If any 
many of them are watching this video right now, thank you from the bottom of my heart. But after this trip, I realized something. This is what I want to do. I want to keep going so I can experience more things like this. I want to keep going so I can meet more amazing people. And that's what I realized. This was quite literally something I had wanted to do for such a long time now. And I want to keep doing this for more amazing opportunities. And I'm glad that this channel has given me the opportunity to do so. But what happened after that? Well, I kept making content, going on and off breaks, but something was definitely plaguing my mind the whole time. That if I want to make this my job at some point, I would need to quit the hive and not make videos on it anymore. Although yes, definitely sad, it's the harsh reality. Although I'm only 15, and I still have many more years to figure my life out, I think about my future a lot, and I want to make sure that I'll be fine in my later years. So in August, I would make a brand new channel. I won't say the name right now, and I will at the end of the video, but I'll explain why I made this channel. I tried to post two videos on this channel that weren't Hive related. These videos severely underperformed, and after hearing from a friend of mine that some YouTubers repost videos that didn't do well on a new channel, I had done that, and these videos did so much better on the new channel. These are videos I genuinely want to make, as I put in so much more passion, time, and creativity into them to truly make a product I am really proud of. I would say that there are very few videos on this channel in recent times that I'm actually proud of because they aren't really creative. So with a new channel underway, I really started to think about this channel and the Hive more. Here are free truths that I learned while being a Hive creator. And if you are wanting to be one, I think these free truths are good to have while going into it. Number one, don't expect this to be a job. If you're going to do YouTube, it is very unlikely that the Hive will be the content that is able to make this thing a job, which is definitely a harsh reality I had to come to terms with myself. But honestly, don't worry about making this a job too much. That's something I myself need to stop worrying about way too much. Just consider this a hobby for now if you're planning to make it Hive related, because if you think it as a job, it will definitely become very unhealthy. Number two, some of your favorite creators or creators you may look up to and watch may not be the best people behind the scenes. I'm not saying us all creators because many I've met are amazing people. Though just remember this one going into it and it's okay if you may have a bad experience with them that you weren't expecting and don't feel hurt about it because that's gonna happen in any industry like this. And number three, have fun. It's silly, but if you're having fun making the content you are producing, you'll enjoy the experience so much more. But what's next for me? Why did I quit? Well, a mixture of reasons that I just said and that at the end of 2022, my depression definitely spiked up again. And truthfully, I wasn't really in the right mental space to make stuff. Another reason is that I know I'm confident in my Java videos and hopefully one day I'll be able to do that and make it my main channel. And I guess my last reason, which is definitely my fault, is that I feel pretty lonely in this community. I'm not really invited to stuff, nor do I talk to many creators, but when I am, I typically say no or I'm pretty quiet, which is definitely due to my social anxiety. But again, it's not anyone's fault for that, it's mine. Not to mention that I don't really play the Hive anymore, but that's probably a result of burnout, so hopefully further down the line I'll enjoy it again. Though with that being said, I'm extremely thankful for everything that the Hive and its community has done for me. I honestly don't know what's next for this channel. I could post a video tomorrow, a week, in a month, a few months. I honestly have no clue. It's honestly crazy how much can happen to a person in a year. And looking back at everything, there's no possible way I would have been able to predict what would happen. This past year, I experienced so many lifelong memories and had my dreams come true. But the most important thing that happened to me is that I met and got closer to many amazing people that I would consider family to me at this point. I want to use this opportunity that I have right now to say thank you for each and every one of you that helped change my life forever.
Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a while, but if you'd like to watch the channel that I've been working on, search up Plushy Minecraft on YouTube to watch some of my proudest work. I'm not going to link the channel as I only want you to subscribe if you're actually going to watch the videos. I don't want a bunch of dead subscribers as that will hurt the channel. If you do watch the channel and subscribe, I appreciate that a lot and it means the world to me. It was honestly really fun making this video. I've been doing a lot of reflecting recently and this video is a great opportunity to look back at everything. I hope to be posting on this channel soon. Again, like I said, it could be tomorrow, a few weeks, a couple months. I honestly don't know, but I hope you guys are ready for me to come back whenever. Thank you guys so much for everything once again, and I hope to see you all soon. Let's go! Let's freaking go! I think Blue Jean screamed so loud that his mic broke. <laughs> Blue Jean, we can't hear you, bro. I, I, I... <laughs> I think I actually think we do. See what I want so much. Should never hurt this man. Never did this before. That's what the burden says. We've been generally warned. That's what the surgeon says. Yeah. And she claims she only with me for the currency. You cut me deep, bitch. Oh cut me like surgery. God, and I was dude. too proud to admit that it was hurting, oh. man. I never do that to you, at least purposely. We breaking up again. We making up again. Oh my but we God. don't love no oh more. I guess right we out, fucking then. Have you ever felt you ever want to kill her? And you mix them emotions with your killer. And you mix that with a little bad.